They say that the opposite of diversity is university. And, uh, well, judging by Carlton University in Ottawa, that just might be true. Now, prepare, prepare to be amazed by what is going on at your tax-funded places of <laughs> higher learning. Justin Campbell and Vanessa Abuka join us from our nation's capital. Welcome to you, young people. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> now, uh, you know, I met you in Ottawa at the Manning Conference, and I know what goes on at university, but I didn't know it was quite so bad at this particular uh, venue of brilliance. Uh, tell us what it's like to be, and there's a whole range of people, conservative, Christian, pro-Israel, pro-life, um, if you don't embrace the whole environmental agenda. Is life made comfortable for you? Um, not really. Um, it, it's it, it's a, it's almost like a it's an emotionally draining uh, experience. It's very mentally draining as well. We spend a lot of time fighting with not only other student groups uh, just to be heard, but also now we're we're finding out that we're going to actually have to go into fights with the administration just to have our our rights upheld uh, as as tuition-paying members of this university community. What, 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 what do you mean by that? Let, let's say that you are a, a mainstream conservative, you think Harper's doing a quite job, a quite, quite a good job, you, um, you, you're pro-life, you think Israel's probably the good guy in the region. You're saying if you believe any of that and you want to be active, you have to justify yourself to the administration? Yes, um, so what we're, what we're finding out is that um, uh, this uh, particular group on campus known as Students Against Israeli Apartheid, known for shutting down meetings, intimidating students, following people to their cars, um, all sorts of really disgusting behavior, uh, can get away with that. But uh, a simple act of putting a sticker on top of a poster that says this does not promote peace will get you a fine for destruction of property under $500. You, you know, th these uh, so-called uh, anti-Israeli apartheid uh, thugs, a lot of them aren't even university students, but you told me that people have been physically intimidated, that a young man w was threatened that he would meet the Muslim God, he wasn't a Muslim, meet the Muslim God, be killed, um, and that you, you were locked into a room, you've been followed down 22 flights of stairs. Tell us more about this, please. Um, so, I mean, I, I've been sitting, I'm a long-standing counselor with the Carleton University Students Association, which is the, the student government at Carleton. Um, it's known for being very left-wing, and so, uh, you know, this group, Students Against Israeli Apartheid, um, pushes its Israeli apartheid agenda uh, in any way it can, and it does it in a, in a sort of intimidating a mob rule type fashion. It's like a, it's the tyranny of the minority, as we call it. Um, and uh, so what happens is, is we hold, you know, council meetings and committee meetings all the time, and these, these students pack a room and they, yeah. they act in a very threatening and a very intimidating way. And they, they, um, they said to one young, one young man, the first year, they said that they would kill him. Yeah. I was actually at that meeting yeah. uh, when that young man was threatened, and I can honestly say the atmosphere in that room was beyond intimidating. And after taking several complaints to the university administration, um, nothing was done, and administration actually has now dropped the case uh, on the basis that there is not enough or sufficient evidence to actually incriminate these individuals that threatened the first year. And uh, so this is a type of behavior that is uh, carried by this group um, because they do have a wide base and they basically are the loudest kind of protesters on the university campus and that is why they're being heard and administration is giving them so much, uh, so much leeway. Well, Ted, for, for you, as a young woman at university who is, who is conservative, have you had any personal attacks or insults thrown at you? For sure. Um, I, I always say to my friends that I think I'm going to have a dictionary by the time I graduate of all the things that I've been called. And uh, I don't think I can repeat them on live, but uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty derogatory stuff and nobody, nobody deserves to be called the stuff that I've been called. And uh, it's this kind of ideology or this kind of thinking that if you, are, if you belong to a particular gender or a particular race, you have to think in this kind of group think, I like to call it. Uh, you have to have this sort of ideology that runs parallel okay. to so, your particular So you're, you're, a, you're a young black woman, you, yeah. so, you're, so you're meant to be on the left and think racism exactly. is everywhere. Have you been attacked because of your race? Yes, I've actually been called a disgrace to my race and a traitor to my race just because I don't think exactly like, uh, you know, all the black students at my school. And I, I yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> right. And, I mean, as, and a minority, I mean, you, you mentioned uh, Israel apartheid uh, fascists having some sort of base of support. They don't. The 99% the of kids at any university don't even know this thing is going on. It's a small group of people help from outside, particularly in Ottawa, where there's a, a fair basis from outside activists, often on the public uh, teat. 
who organize these things, but I find it quite appalling when the university authorities do not protect people who simply want, want to study and have an opinion. I mean, the, the idea that someone is threatened with death. So is there any sort of fight back? And it's, and it's not just about Israel, it's far broader than that. I mentioned Christian kids, pro-life, clubs are being uh, shut down, people are being attacked. I mean, is, is there any sort of resistance to this? Uh, the resistance is mainly just students like myself, students who are on the right. Uh, we care enough to actually go in every single day and to kind of fight this battle with the administration, with uh, our fellow students, show up to council meetings, um, try to protect the rights of, of minority groups because as conservatives, uh, publicly speaking as conservatives, we're, we're a minority group, we're a small group of people and so we have to kind of stay united and we have to all protect each other and look out for each other. Yeah. Um, showing up to these council meetings, trying to get uh, referendum questions removed off the ballot that target particular groups like the Genocide Awareness Project, like Carlton Lifeline, um, groups that, that kind of you know give back to the community and, and really try to push an, a message that's alternate to what the university teaches you and what students on the university believe. Um, I mean, other stuff that we have to do is we have to consistently go to uh, uh, particular offices like Equity Services at Carleton and make complaints about all sorts of stuff that happens. Um, even though equity and campus safety do nothing about it, we still make the complaints so yeah, that there's at least... Sorry, uh, interrupt you, but I, I was, someone else told me that there's this safe space. If, if, if someone says oh. safe space, you have to respect it. So if you're arguing with someone, they'll just scream out, save space, and you have oh. to move away from them. Yes, oh, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's basically a blanket policy. Uh, it's kind of backwards, the way it works. It basically... Uh, it's... It, Justin could explain it better. He's it, <laughs> it's, uh, it was a creation of the Student Association when the Student Association was very uh, NDP leaning. Yeah. Um, and it's been kind of taken on by the university administration and it's kind of like, it's, it's run by equity services. And the policy, it's, it's called uh, Carleton University Safe Space Policy or, yeah. or CUSP. Okay. And uh, the entire policy is we wanted to find, you know, All this right, listen, positive... Listen, I don't want to cut you off there because otherwise I'm just going to puke, frankly, when I hear more about what universities are, are doing. And it's not, not at you, but I just, you know, yeah. I, I close down half universities tomorrow. I will close down half of our universities tomorrow. And the other half that remain, I, I close down half of the courses. No one should be learning criminology and, and sociology at undergraduate level. I mean, yeah. it, it's a mate work program and it's taking money away from the parents of kids. And these kids are just uh, so incredibly self-indulgent. So there's my little rant for you, but you, you deserve the right to feel safe and have an education and these nasty little fascists are imposing their will on you and the people I have particular contempt for are the adults in charge who are too cowardly and, and, and I, I think actually fellow travellers and all of this nonsense. We'll have you back on the show and if anyone direct, directly threatens you, please email me with their names we and, will. We'll, and we'll make them famous. We will. Okay, <laughs> all right, oh, you take care. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you.